Um, right after Allie was born, I started having um, this finger. I couldn't use it. It would swell up to like three times the size of my other fingers, and I couldn't bend it, and I couldn't do anything with it. Um, I called it my bad finger because I couldn't do anything with it. And it it was probably like that for about a year until I finally went to the doctor, and my, my um, family doctor said, okay, I don't know what's going on, but we're going to send you for tests and, and blood work. And um, they got me in to see a rheumatologist right away, and he diagnosed me with rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I had the swelling in my knees and my joints and stiffness in my fingers and toes and just pain in my hips and um, everywhere, basically, it felt like. Um, so I was diagnosed in 2009, I guess it was, um, a year after I was Five days after I was diagnosed with the arthritis, I found out that I was pregnant. Um, and so I couldn't do any kind of treatments because they would hurt the baby. Um, it was a big shock, <laughs> a big adjustment transition for us. And we were doing okay. And we were at church one Sunday, and Kay's daughter was there. Um, and I'd never met Kay's daughter. And she just came up in the middle of worship and just said, God is telling me that I need to pray for you for your arthritis. Um, and I said, <laughs> so she prayed for me, she prayed for healing, um, and it was, it was it was really neat, I was really excited, I just thought, oh God's going to heal me right now, you know, I'm going to, not going to walk out of this church different and not be in any pain, and, and that didn't happen. <laughs> when I wasn't healed right away, I thought, okay, um, God told, told her to pray for me, so I'm going to be healed, you know, so I can be patient, and, you know. That, that day turned into more days, into weeks and months, and probably for the first year I was okay. Um, I just kept thinking, okay, God can heal me, God can heal me. He did it before, He can heal me again. And um, I had a lot of people praying, my mom, my aunts, um, sisters, cousins, <laughs> everybody I could think of praying. And um, so I was okay that first year. When it got into the second year, I thought, okay, well maybe this is something that I'm going to have to live with, especially because the medicines that they had me on weren't working. Um, I was on pills and um, that didn't help with the pain, so they put me on a different kind, that didn't help with the swelling. And so I started to get a little frustrated that, that they weren't going to find the right medicine that was going to make this, so neither, neither one working, so they finally started doing shots, um, which helped. So I, I did shots for two, two years, weekly shots for two years, um, and that helped. And that's what I've been on ever since. Um, even though I was on the medications and they were helping, I still had um, the mornings my hands were stiff. Um, I couldn't wear my rings sometimes because they would, my, my knuckles would be so swollen, the joints would be so swollen. Um, I would wake up in the mornings and my hips were sore, my knee was, was swollen, they had to um, drain it, um, cortisone injections. Uh, my feet especially were bad if I were on my feet a lot during the day. I wouldn't be able to move my toes at night. Um, so the medicine helped. It did. It made it so that I could take care of my kids, but it didn't take the pain away. It didn't. It didn't. It wasn't a miracle drug. It was kind of funny because um, in probably July of this year, I said to Sam, "I just don't feel like this medicine is is doing what it's supposed to do, and I think I'm going to go off of it and see how I feel. See if the pain gets worse." some other medicine and then I just never did it. Um, I, I don't know if I just forgot or got sidetracked or, or whatever but I didn't and we went to, to Georgia in August of this year on vacation and when we came back I just started with severe, severe headaches, um, numbness in my hands and my feet that would go all the way almost up to my shoulder. Um, I was tripping over things that weren't there like I couldn't pick my feet up high enough to walk. Balance problems. Um, I would stand up and almost fall over. Um, confusion, couldn't think of simple words, um, and it was it was scary. So I went back to the doctor, and um, the doctor's first thought was MS, which was scary because my grandfather had MS. So it is it does run in my family, and so I had two MRIs, one on my brain, one on my neck, um, to check for that. They came back fine, thank goodness. And, um, so they said, well, maybe it's your medicine. Maybe it's your Humira, your Humira that you're taking and go off of it. So I went off of it and I thought, oh, it takes eight weeks to get into your system fully. Am I going to be in terrible pain once I go off of it? Do I have to go back on? 
Um, after after the first couple weeks of being off of the medicine, you know, I thought, okay, well, I don't have any pain, any swelling, no stiffness, so maybe I'm just still getting the medicine out of my system. And, and after that second week, I, I started to think, you know, it's probably out of my system by now. I don't have any pain. I don't have any swelling. I'm not having any problems. No joint pains. Um, I think maybe I'm healed. Um, after a couple of weeks when I, when I thought, okay, maybe I'm healed, maybe this is gone, I went back to the doctor because I had an appointment scheduled and he said, okay, let's redo your blood work. Let's see what's going on. And it all came back perfect. It all came back. Um, there was no inflammation, no, no nothing. And I was reminded again, and I, and I was reminded throughout the whole ordeal, I kept thinking about, about this prayer. This lady came up and prayed for me, but this, especially I thought, three and a half years ago, she prayed for healing, and you know, they can't find it in my body anymore. I, I don't have this disease anymore. Um, and I just, I knew that I was healed. I knew that, that, that God had touched my body and, and had taken it away. When I first realized that I was healed, I, I was afraid to tell people. You know, I told my family and I told Sam, um, but I was just afraid. I thought, what if I tell everybody that I'm healed and the pain comes back, you know, how, how, how dumb would that make me look? And one day I just thought, I gotta claim this. I have to claim my healing, you know, and I have to, I have to um, believe it. So I did. I think that was probably the first time that I that I really was like, okay, you know what? I'm healed, and I should be shouting it from the roof. You know, I shouldn't be afraid to to tell my friends. I shouldn't be afraid to put it on Facebook. I shouldn't be afraid to to let people know because this this is what people need to hear right now. So it's been three months, um, and I have no pain, no stiffness, no swelling. I can still use my bed figure. Um, I, we, we took a trip to Philly and I had the kids by myself for the day and I walked around the Philly Zoo and um, Museum and got to the hotel that night and I could move my toes, which is the biggest, the coolest thing because after a day like that I shouldn't have been able to move my feet. So that was like such awesome confirmation that I don't have to be afraid, you know, this, this is real, I've been healed, this is not gonna, it's not gonna go away. Um, tomorrow. I'm not going to wake up in pain yet. So I guess, you know, if you feel like God's telling you that you want, or that, that he wants you to pray for them, don't be afraid. You know, don't feel like, don't be afraid that you're going to look silly, because you won't. You know, if, you, if you're doing what God wants you to do, don't be afraid, just do it. And if you feel like you need prayer for healing, if you need prayer for anything, don't be afraid to ask for it, because there are people, God's going to put people in your lives, in your path, who will be more than happy to pray for you. And if you feel like God has healed you, don't be afraid to, to, to get excited about it. Don't be afraid to, to tell people and don't be afraid that it's going to go away after a couple of days or, or right after you tell people that you've been healed. I just want to be an encouragement to people so that they know that, that God is still, still healing. God's still healing. He's still the great physician, you know. He... He took, he took me, who I was supposed to have a debilitating disease, and and he knew that that my concern was that I wasn't going to be able to take care of my kids or play with my grandkids, you know, because of this. And he healed me, and you know, he can, he can do that still to anybody. And don't be discouraged because God's answer is yes or no or not right now. And you know, in my case, it was not right now. Um, you need to wait a few years for reasons that I don't understand, and that's okay. I don't need to understand them, um, but don't be discouraged because God's faithful to all of his promises, and I'm here today to tell you that he's still healing.